William and his two brothers-in-law heard that Edward Gorsuch was coming to kidnap them and take them into slavery. Just before dawn, Edward, his son Dickerson, a marshal who was a slave catcher, and several other men showed up with a warrant at William's door. Hi, my name is Jeremy, and welcome to Elwyn Studios, and where is everything? Anyway, welcome to Elwyn. Three people of interest, Levi Connell, William Parker, and Edward Gorsuch. Levi is a Quaker and abolitionist who's renting his house to William. William is a former slave who ran away when he was 17, and now he's defending himself from Edward, a slave hunter from Maryland. The conversation between the Marshal and William went something like this. You are under arrest. No thanks. I am a US Marshal. And? This is a warrant for your arrest. So? We will burn your house down. And then what? Enslave our bones? The sun was rising, so William's wife went to the window and signaled for more help. It was understood among the neighbors that if they heard the long blast of a horn, they were to grab a weapon or whatever they could and run towards the sound. But Edward also had backup. About 20 more men came out of the forest, which meant that William was still outnumbered. Just then, a couple Quakers rode up and started talking to the marshal. They knew that the Parkers would not give up until the death but Edward still wanted to kidnap those slaves. While the Quakers were trying to talk to the marshal, William and four of his men stepped outside of the house. Thinking they were trying to run away, Edward pointed his gun at them. But William just walked right up to him and said, look here, old man, I've seen pistols before today. Dickerson, Edward's son, was getting nervous, seeing how his opponent was determined to not get captured, and he didn't want any blood spilled. But his father was determined too. And so was William. William said that he didn't want to hurt anybody, but that Edward should be ashamed of himself for being a kidnapper. Dickerson took this as a huge insult to his father and shouted at William and shot at him point blank. But he only missed and cut a bit of his hair, which is not what happened to me. Fighting broke out. William knocked the gun out of Dickerson's hand before he could shoot again. Edward was quickly killed and Dickerson was shot. He tried to get up, but then he was shot again. The fighting soon ended after the marshal ran away with all of Edward's men. William tended to all the wounded. He brought a doctor in and took Dickerson to his landlord Levi's house, who nursed him back to health. But a couple days after what was later known as the Christiana Riot, a lawyer came to Levi's house saying that he was being sued for harboring slaves and for damages around the property. But Levi's wife remembered that William had been working in that area for years before Edward claimed that he ran away. And Dickerson was being taken care of by the very man that he claimed to be the kidnapper. If you wanna know more about what a Quaker is, you can click on this video here. And if you want to subscribe to our other channel, you can click on this little circle here, even though at the time of this recording, it's empty, just like this room. <laughs>